Hey guys, this is English Sheeting. I'm Callum. Welcome back to the channel and let's get into the video. We have another incredibly important consultation that needs your submission. This isn't to be confused with the other really important consultation around the changes to firearms legislation. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then click this link after the video or head there now and go and fill it out and come back. It's incredibly important you go and fill that one out as well. But this consultation is all about permitted development rights, specifically the 28 day rule. So why is permitted development rights so important? Well, here within the UK, if you have a piece of land, you are limited to what you can do on it without planning permission. But there is permitted development rights, which includes the 28 day rule. This allows you to take part in various activities for no more than 28 days within a year and shooting activities are covered under those 28 days. And they are proposing to stop this. They are proposing to remove this and it would be absolutely disastrous. Permitted development rights are incredibly important and the 28 day rule is incredibly important because it allows the birth and growth of clubs. When you start up a shooting club, you will only have a handful of members. You're not going to have a huge amount of money and it can cost absolutely thousands to get planning permission to be able to start a full-time range. So you usually start small. You'll have a handful of people you'll get together you know, fairly regularly, but like not every day, and you're going to build the club from that. You're gonna grow your membership, you're gonna make use of this 28 day rule shooting every two weeks. And this is why within the UK, there's probably a lot of you going, oh, that's why my local club, we only shoot every two weeks. It's not to exceed the 28 days per year. So they start within these 28 days, they grow the club, they get their numbers increased, and therefore their funds and membership fees increase. And then they reach a point where they can go, right, now we have the funds to be able to apply for planning permission to exceed the 28 day rule. But without that exemption within the 28 days, these clubs would never have the ability to grow. They would never be able to raise the membership, raise the funds to be able to apply for planning permission and then build proper facilities and proper infrastructures. So removing shooting activities from permitted development rights and the 28 day rule would be absolutely disastrous and would kill the growth of shooting across Scotland. And if you're watching this and you're in England, or you're in Wales or anywhere else in the world, well, Scotland is quite often used for a test bed for legislation within the UK. We've seen it with the air gun licensing. Fortunately, it was quite an obvious disaster and it never made it way down south. But they may be using this as a test bed to see, well, if we can make things impossibly hard up in Scotland and it works really well, maybe we can bring that in down in England, down in Wales and move it south and then look at what happens across the rest of the world. We, we like to copy each other. Maybe they would use planning permission or permitting to be able to reduce or remove shooting in your country. So it's incredibly important whether you're in Scotland or not to respond to this consultation and to have your voice heard. Their justification and reasoning behind this is so fundamentally flawed and it's important for all of us to point this out. The main flaw is the noise. This is the main justification that they are using to remove shooting from the 28 day rule. They're saying that it can disturb the amenity of the local area. It can disrupt a local area because of the noise. Well, the first point is that that's why it's under a 28 day rule. It's widely accepted and agreed that if something is only happening 28 days within a year, then it's not going to cause that much disruption. So if you're worried about shooting causing a disruption for 28 days, then there's going to be other activities as well. Maybe the whole 28 day rule needs to be addressed. Then you have the other activities. Well, why are they singling out shooting? You have things like motorsports, you have things like fun fairs, music festivals that all operate under the 28 day rule. 
which on average causes a hell of a lot more disruption and noise than shooting. They're also then going on about these various exemptions and how people can obtain firearms outside of legislation. Well, why are they talking about that within permitted development rights? Why are they talking about that in relation to the 28-day rule? I thought we were talking about land use here, not the licensing and certification of firearms. It just gives more highlight here that there is an ulterior motive and another agenda at play. They're looking at the miniature rifle exemption, saying that you can go and get a gun off ticket without any licensing, without liaising with the police currently. Well, yes, that's true. But what's important to point out is that that is currently going through the process of being changed within our legislation. So give it a few more months and you will no longer be able to buy a gun under the miniature rifle exemption without a firearm certificate or a registered firearms dealership. You also have the exemption supposedly of running unlicensed shotgun events. Now, yes, a shotgun event can operate under the 28-day rule without liaising with the police, but the shotguns are still bound by firearms licensing. You still need a shotgun certificate to be able to get hold of one. So this notion and suggestion that you can just freely go out and get firearms without any restriction uh, is just it's a complete lie um, and certainly is a, a bending of the truth full well knowing that things are changing and again give it a couple of months and you definitely won't be able to get a miniature rifle without some sort of, of certificate and again shotguns have always been certificated well certainly in recent years there's no exemptions i know of that allows you to obtain one without a certificate so it's important to point that out uh, to them and also the benefits of shooting the benefits to the economy you look at certain shooting ranges up and down the country and the amount of people that they bring in the benefit to small areas that shooting can have. You know, personally, I'm regularly traveling all over the country and I'm staying in hotels, I'm going out for meals, I'm having a few drinks in a local pub. I'm spending money in small local areas because of shooting. Removing shooting from the 28 day rule could have a disastrous effect on people's income. It could have a disastrous effect on local economy we know why shooting is good the discipline that it installs the responsibility that it installs in people we know that it is incredibly well regulated well restricted we have a lot of liaising with the police we are already bound by a different myriad of health and safety and noise restrictions already it's already very difficult to get into this sport removing it from the 28 day rule isn't going to achieve anything other than just backdoor banning shooting so to find this question and to make all of these points you would need to find the last question of this consultation the link will be in the description below and also in the comment section follow it through and you will see that you're not required to answer all the questions there's about 30 questions in total don't sit there and answer all of them because there's only one that has anything to do with shooting it's question number 30 again they're trying to just sneak it under the radar there slip it in and cover it over with a load of benign stuff but scroll right down find question 30 answer no and then use that text box to give your justification for why shooting should continue to operate under the 28 day rule use some of the points that i've talked about use some of the points that i'm sure you can come up with we all know why this would be a bad idea we all know why this is a disastrous for shooting and what is it ultimately going to achieve so make sure you respond make sure you object to it and make sure you give as as best reasoning as possible if you have any further questions then please use the comment section below i hope this video has helped raise awareness of this consultation for you again please do not sit on it go and respond and again if you haven't responded to the other consultation around the changes to firearms legislation then follow this link now and go and do that after you've done this permitted development rights consultation as well thank you very much for watching this video thank you for completing the consultations if you have 
already make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you drop a comment of some sort to help the youtube algorithm get this video out to as many people as possible and i'd be greatly appreciative if you could share this video and also if you're not already subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching again and of course as always guys i hope to see you soon